Hi, my name is Katie and I am thrilled to introduce our newest integration to you. Wellness Living Accounts can now be integrated with Zapier to create powerful automations. This will allow customers to eliminate time spent micromanaging everyday tasks and changes and spend more time focusing on business growth. To access the Zapier landing page, click the app drawer, setup, expand the integrations menu and click Zapier. Please note that only staff members with the configure Zapier settings permission can enable Zapier and will be able to see the Zapier landing page. Zapier is a task automation software that allows users to connect over 5,000 popular apps together that are otherwise not integrated. With this new integration, customers can connect their Zapier account to Wellness Living and set up triggers and actions to reduce repetitive tasks in their business. Here on the landing page, we can see the Get Started button, which will bring you further down the page to the pricing information. From the landing page, you can learn more about Zapier and what it does for your business. You can increase productivity through automated workflows called Zaps. Each Zap starts with a trigger, which initiates your automated workflow. Each Zap results in an action, which is an event that is performed in the Zap. By integrating with Zapier, you can move away from manual data input and automatically sync leads collected from other sources to Wellness Living. You can automate client profile updates, and you can add and remove clients from client groups. With Zapier, you will be able to create zaps between Wellness Living and over 5,000 popular work apps. The possibilities are endless when it comes to streamlining business processes and reducing manual data entry errors. So let's look at setting up the integration with Zapier and creating your first few zaps. So first you will need to sign up with Zapier, so you have to have a Zapier account if you don't already have one. Then you can integrate Zapier with Wellness Living. You can connect those two accounts. And then third, you can define your triggers and actions, meaning you can start building your zaps with Zapier to streamline that workflow. And the way you integrate your Zapier and Wellness Living account is if I scroll further down the page, I simply just have to click Get Started, where I also can see the pricing information for this integration. So here I am in my Zapier account. When you log into Zapier, you will see your dashboard. Here on the dashboard, you will see any recent zaps that you've created, as well as recommendations for you and other resources available to you. From the dashboard, you can make a zap up at the top, or you can create one by clicking this Create Zap orange button. So remember, each of the automations that I'm going to walk you through in a moment can start on an outside app like Google Sheets, and the action occurs in Wellness Living, or the automation can start in Wellness Living and happen in an outside app like Google Sheets. It's all about the flow of your automations and how you want to configure your zaps. First, I'm going to create a zap to automate the creation of a lead profile. If I'm collecting a leads information on a Google Sheet, such as this one here, so I would be collecting their first name, last name, email address, and cell phone number, staff are able to fill it out on this spreadsheet, and then in Zapier, I'm going to create a zap, that automated workflow, that automatically creates this leads profile, in Wellness Living. In Zapier, I'm going to create a zap by clicking Create Zap. So first I need to define the trigger. So the trigger is an event that will actually start your zap, that automated workflow. In this case, the trigger will be when the leads spreadsheet is filled out with the leads contact information. So the trigger is gonna happen in Google Sheets. The event is when a new spreadsheet row is added to the bottom of the spreadsheet. I'm going to click continue. You can see here I'm logged into my Google account so that it can find the Google Sheets. If you're not logged in, it will prompt you to log in, or you could change the login here. And then because you're logged into your Google account, it's going to find that spreadsheet that you're working off of. So my spreadsheet is called Sapier. The worksheet is called Lead Profile Creation. I'm going to hit continue. And then you can test your trigger. So this is just making sure that Zapier found the correct spreadsheet. So I'm gonna hit test. All right, and we can see that it found a spreadsheet with Michael Edwards information on it. So if I click back to the spreadsheet, 
we can see that that is correct. Michael Edwards, here we have it. Okay, so next, you have to define the action. So an action is an event a ZAP performs after it starts. So after we fill out this spreadsheet, I want a lead profile to be created in Wellness Living. So I'm gonna click the Wellness Living app, choose the event. So the event is to create a lead profile. Okay, click continue. You will be prompted to log into Wellness Living, or you could see here that I already am logged in. Please make sure that the staff member that is logging in does have the correct permissions enabled for Zapier under staff roles, or else you will get an error. Click continue. And now this is where you're really defining the action. So because it's connected to your Wellness Living account, some of this information will come up. So the business name, and now you're putting in information from that spreadsheet to define what you want the action to be. So I want this lead, this lead profile to be created. Um, first name is Michael, last name Edwards, the email address is here, cell phone is here, and you will notice that the required fields have asterisks next to them. If it's not required, it doesn't have an asterisk. I don't need the date of birth or address to be in my lead profile creation. If you do, of course, you could fill out this additional data. I'm gonna click continue. And again, you test the action to make sure that your zap works. Once you test your zap and it works successfully, you wanna make sure you hit publish and turn on in order to automate that workflow. So when the zap is turned on, that means that the workflow is automated. So I'm gonna click go to my zaps. And we just created this one, so it's untitled. I can go back and title it, of course, to organize myself. But we can see that it is on, so this is an automated workflow. So let's test this out. Okay, you can see here on my lead spreadsheet, I just added another lead. Uh, so Katrina Smith with her email address and phone number. So now I'm gonna check in Wellness Living to ensure that that profile was created. Okay, so here I am back in Wellness Living. I'm gonna search for my new lead. And here we go, Katrina Smith. And if I click into her profile, I can see that it was in fact added as a lead. She is a prospect. The phone number that I put in the spreadsheet is here. I made the phone number really easy to see on the spreadsheet. One, two, three, four, five, six. You could see one, two, three, four, five, six, just so you could see how it worked. And then her email address. So it automatically, when you fill in the spreadsheet, it automatically creates that lead profile in Wellness Living. Now that we have automated the lead profile creation, we can also automate client profile updates. So here I have a spreadsheet that houses all of my clients for my personal training sessions. Sometimes it's easier to look at my clients all at once on this spreadsheet rather than on individual profiles. So I am able to set up a zap that automates any updates I make to the client's profile information on this spreadsheet, and it will automatically be updated in the client's profile in Wellness Living. So you can see that my spreadsheet houses general information that's in a client's profile, such as their name, email, cell phone, fitness goal, etc. On Zapier, I have a zap created that every time I update a client's fitness goal on this spreadsheet, their client profile fitness goal will update as well. And you can set up a zap for all the client profile fields here. I'm just showing you the one with the fitness goal. Here I am on Zapier. I'm looking at a zap that I already created in order to automate that updated client profile. So I'm gonna show you how I set up this zap. So the trigger is for when I add or update a spreadsheet row in Google Sheets, and it's that sheet that we just looked at. We can see that Google Sheets is connected. The event is a newer updated spreadsheet row. I am logged into my Google account. I've connected the correct spreadsheet that it recognizes because I'm logged into Google. And then I'm selecting the trigger column. So when I update the fitness goal column on the spreadsheet, the fitness goal will update in the client's profile in Wellness Living. Okay, once again, you can run the test when you're setting up the zap, which I've already done to ensure it's successful. And then the action, once I fill out the spreadsheet with either a new or updated spreadsheet row, the action is to actually update the client's profile in Wellness Living. So we can see here, I've defined the event. I've signed into my Wellness Living account here. 
I've identified the business, which it recognizes because I'm signed into Wellness Living through Zapier. And again, the field I want updated is the fitness goal. And here from the spreadsheet that it recognized, I put in the email from that spreadsheet. This is just allowing Zapier to recognize the profile. That's the identifier of how Zapier recognizes which profile to update. And the field value, again, is fitness goal. When I continue, you can run a test to make sure that the zap is successful. For our purposes, we're gonna look at Renee Johnson here. So Renee Johnson wants to update her fitness goal. Right now, it is to work out more. And we can see Renee Johnson's profile in Wellness Living. It is indeed to work out more. So on this spreadsheet, I am going to update that she has changed her goal. It's not to work out more, but instead she wants to focus more on nutrition. So now that I've updated the spreadsheet, Renee's client profile in Wellness Living, the fitness goal field will automatically update. Okay, once again, I am on Renee's profile. I'm going to refresh it. And we can see that the fitness goal was automatically updated to match the spreadsheet. So now her fitness goal reads nutrition. Finally, the last two automations I want to demonstrate are how you can create zaps to automate data entry involving when you add or remove clients to and from client groups. So here we are looking at a spreadsheet where I hold information regarding one of my client groups. So we are looking at uh, clients who are in my active memberships client group right now. I have created a zap that when a client is added to the active memberships client group in Wellness Living, their information will automatically populate on this spreadsheet. And if they are removed from the client group in Wellness Living, their information will be deleted from the spreadsheet, ensuring that I always have accurate information at a quick glance here on this spreadsheet. I can set this up for each one of my client groups so that their information will automatically be populated. Just to quickly demonstrate this, I am now here in Wellness Living. I am adding Katrina Smith to our active memberships client group. Okay, client was added to group successfully. And now when I switch back to my Google Sheets with my active membership client group, I can see that Katrina Smith was added automatically to this spreadsheet. Very similarly, I have set up a zap that if I remove a client from a client group or if a client gets removed automatically, the spreadsheet will update. So I am going to remove Katrina Smith from the active memberships client group. Okay, we can see that the change has been made. And if I go back to the sheet, we can see that she is no longer on the spreadsheet because that line has been deleted, ensuring that the information is kept up to date. Here we are looking at my two zaps that automated the data entry when adding or removing a client from a client group. So this automation occurs when you manually add or remove a client, like what was just demonstrated, or if the client group is set up with a criteria and it's auto updating. So for this first one, we can see that the trigger is when a client is added to a client group in Wellness Living, and the action is that a spreadsheet row is created in Google Sheets. Now you can configure this any way you want uh, with any of the available options here in Zapier. And then similarly, for removing clients, the trigger is when a client is removed from a client group in Wellness Living, and the action is to have that spreadsheet row deleted in Google Sheets. And there we have it for the four workplace automations that Wellness Living supports at this time. These involve generating a lead profile, updating the client profile, adding and removing clients from client groups. Remember, each of these automations can start on an outside app like Google Sheets, and the action can occur in Wellness Living or the automation can start in Wellness Living and happen in an outside app like Google Sheets. It's all about the flow of your automations and how you want to configure your zaps. Once you connect your Zapier account to Wellness Living, the possibilities are endless for how you can automate your workflow so that you can really focus on what's important. Thank you so much for watching and enjoy creating your zaps.